Hey everyone, Kimchika here, and we have another Utomic game review for you. First, we've logged into the Utomic dashboard. You can see lots of great games here. Be sure to check them all out. But I want to go to the magnifying glass, and I'm just going to type in Tengami. So uh, let's click play and just get in there. Tengami brings a unique perspective to the point-and-click genre. It actually begins by subtly breaking the fourth wall, actually inviting the player to be a more active participant in the game. It does this by showing a house and a book at the very start, and the game begins when the book opens, and I love this. It felt like a really grand opening um, to a fairy tale or just an epic adventure. So in this game, you follow a samurai's journey to restore feeling and spring back into the world, and he does this by moving through the different seasons. There isn't any dialogue, and there's really minimal text, and the little text that is there shows up in the form of haiku. And I found it really compelling because your progress is measured by the blossoms that end up blooming on a seemingly lifeless tree in the winter. So it was very beautifully done. The real beauty of this game is in its simplicity. It uses this pop-up book as a mechanism to move the story forward, but it doesn't lose itself trying to fill the world with tons of extraneous assets or visuals. Everything felt really intentional and well-placed. Everything you see and hear and feel is simple, but it doesn't ever feel bare. And each major area of the game is based on a season, and each season is represented wonderfully with the specific colors that really evoke the feeling of that season. So I felt like the art style was done very well. As I mentioned before, there isn't any dialogue and the text is minimal, so the game does a very good job of actually scaffolding the puzzles and guiding the player through the environment. The puzzles start out quite simple, but are really satisfying to move because they're the little pop-up book mechanisms that you would move if you were actually working in a pop-up book format and they get gradually a little bit more challenging and but I never felt they were overly so. So this is a great game for the more casual gamer. The one thing is that the pacing is slow. There is no way around it. And that can be a pro or con depending on what you're hoping for in a particular play session. I got so relaxed at certain points, sometimes I found myself sitting and sort of staring at the screen, just listening to the sounds of the game. Uh, personally, I would have loved the pace to be picked up a hair. Maybe adding compatibility with a keyboard or controller would have been nice because it is only controlled through mouse clicks, and I felt like that is what slowed down the progression of the game for me. But again, it can be very relaxing, so that might be a good thing for you. One other thing is while the sound design and the game soundtrack were really beautiful, uh, there were some awkward moments where the soundtrack seemed to abruptly cut, or a sound effect would maybe abruptly cut out, and this seemed like it could be easily fixed with a softer fade in and out, or maybe just more consistent placement of the sounds. It doesn't impact gameplay, but it was something I did notice while I was playing, primarily because the sounds and imagery were so nice, it was just more noticeable when they weren't there. Point and click games are restricted in terms of replayability for the most part, and Tengami is no exception to this. Uh, the plot is so straightforward you could probably finish it in about an hour to an hour and a half of solid gameplay, and there doesn't seem to be a ton of incentive to try and replay the game to unlock any secret areas or gain any hidden achievements. So in that respect it's very much like a book. But I feel like even though the experience itself might stay the same each time you play it. It's one of those games where it's so relaxing that what you bring to the table can affect how you feel while you play the game. Which, you know, is most any game, but this one in particular, because of its pacing, I feel like could be nice to replay just because it takes you to such a beautiful world. So, to sum it up, if you're looking for a game with a beautiful pop-up book art style, a really quick timeline in terms of being able to finish and complete the game, and a really zen, minimalistic experience, play Tengami. It's really, really fun. Uh, if not, check out the channels on your Utomic dashboard and look at some of the other genres and games available. There are a lot, and there are a lot of really great choices, so be sure to check them out. If you like what you see here, comment below. Let me know if you've played Tengami or if you have another really zen game experience that you think others should share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!
Gaming!